Hi, Marcus Hines here with Hines Realty Group, and I'm here with John Asari. And uh, I want to do an interview with this guy. I've known him for quite a while. He's been doing investing and doing other things in real estate, and he's recently joined Hines Realty Group. He's doing a really great job, so I want some of his gifts to be shared with the world. I'm uh, excited. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. So I got, I got a few questions for you. Sure. Um, you know, the first one is, uh, when did you know that you wanted to be in real estate as a career? Yeah. That's a great question. So in high school, I worked for a developer. Uh, I would do all the dirty work. Uh, he would purchase, I lived in Richmond, Virginia. He would purchase homes in downtown Richmond and fix them up. Uh, so I did a lot of the heavy lifting, et cetera. And he introduced me to rich dad, poor dad, uh, and started really educating me in real estate and business. And that's when I knew I wanted to have a career in real estate. Um, and I would always drive with my parents and look at buildings and just really, uh, really hope that one day I would be, I would be in the business. Mm. So it's been a while. Oh yeah. It's been some time. Awesome. And, and so, so how long have you been in real estate currently? So in actual, as a realtor, uh, I've actually been in for a very short period of time since I joined Heinz Realty Group. Uh, I would say less than 90 days now, actually less than 60 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, but it, so it's been a passion for a long time. You've done some investing and looking into other other areas of real estate. Yes. And it's been about sixty days since you've joined Heinz Realty Group. Yes. So I've been in terms of looking for properties, uh, driving for dollars, calling, calling um, different types of properties, and, and and actually being in real estate. It's been a couple of years, uh, but really getting serious and joining a team and and working with uh, markets. It's been pretty short period of time. What, what are some of the successes that you've had, say, in the next, in the last 30 days? Yeah. So in the last 30 days, uh, we closed on a property in San Francisco. Uh, it's been the biggest one yet. And one that was a little bit uh, more involved that I learned uh, quite a bit from. So it was a huge success and a real uh, confidence boost in terms of getting in that complex market. Mm. And that was so. That was your one of your your first closings. And what price range was that in? That's that's pretty remarkable. Yeah. So it was uh, in the one point five five mm -hmm. price range. Yeah. Or that's exact price. Yeah. So his first sixty days in, he closes a one point five million dollar deal. Some people are bragging about the million dollar listing, and John's closing at one point five. So <laughs> not so bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And you know, for for some of the people watching. And uh, some of the people watching are considering um, hiring a real estate agent to either sell or buy a home. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of agents out there, and not all of them are the same with the same work ethic. What would you, what, what, what would you say? Because you've now you, you've been a buyer, and now you're in real estate. What would you say to somebody who is considering buying a real estate agent? Like, what should they be looking for? Yeah, that's a great question. I'll say if you're looking for a good realtor, there three things to keep in mind. Uh, first and foremost, uh, a good communicator, uh, a good real estate agent uh, is gonna be your representation. The main job of that agent is to communicate between the two sides. So you definitely want a good communicator. Uh, then you want uh, someone who's uh, an educator, who has the heart of a teacher. Somebody that doesn't you know, make decisions for you, but rather educates you on what the decisions uh, are to be made. Uh, the impact of those decisions and then really empowers you to uh, make your own decision uh, after being really educated. Uh, and, and I'll say the third one is really having someone who's an advocate for you, uh, a good negotiator, somebody who's going to work on your behalf to get you the best possible deal. Mm. Yeah, I like that. And, and then some of the people watching have thought about real estate as a career. And, and we know that a lot of people in the world are like stuck in a job. Mm. Job being something that you have to do to make money. Career being something that you get to do and you get paid for it. So what about people who are thinking of real estate for a career? What, what feedback, what advice would you give them? Yeah. That's a great question. Actually, I was just talking to an individual a few days ago about really getting into real estate as a career. I, I would say um, make sure that you really build your base. Uh, make sure that you are in a good financial position to get started. Uh, as you've probably heard, if you've looked into it, uh, it's not the first year as an agent can be tough. Uh, but if you have a good firm base, 
you can really weather the storm and focus on improving and investing in yourself rather than being uh, a, a thirsty salesperson. Um, I'd, I'd say that's huge. And definitely look for a mentor um, that, can de that can shorten your learning curve significantly and really hold your hand and take you through the process um, much like Marcus has done for me. Mm -hmm. and, and for some people it takes uh, you know, six months or nine months to close their first transaction. And I like what you said, uh, save a cushion of money, lower your expenses so that you can actually get into a sales career doing something you love to do. But if you join the right outfit and you have the right mentor and you have the right work ethic, you just prove that you can close a deal in 60 days. So, so it could be rather sooner, but to have a plan for further out, money saved, but if you apply yourself mm -hmm. like you did, that's why I'm sitting down with you, is, is you can actually close deals much sooner by applying what you learn faster and going to work. Would you agree? I, I would absolutely agree with that. And I think for me, it's the, the biggest thing that was holding me back was a fear of the unknown. Um, and it doesn't have to when you have a good plan in place, a good training plan, uh, a mentor that you can rely on and ask questions, bounce it off. Them, but just like a good athlete, uh, when you get up every day, you have a plan in place mm -hmm. and, and you execute on that plan, uh, you may not see your, your muscles blow up in one day or two days, but certainly in two, three months of putting in hard work each, each day, you'll be able to improve quite significantly. And of course, if you have a coach or a really good trainer, they can probably shorten that curve for you quite a bit. And that's the same, same uh, benefit you get from having a great coach, a great program and also following through on that plan mm. yeah so creating a plan surrounding yourself by a mentor a coach and then actually following through and taking the actions absolutely which is exactly what you're doing exactly awesome so and, and that's something that we can apply to whatever we're doing in life right yeah uh, surround ourselves with the right mentors the right coach the right guides mm -hmm. create a plan that we're aligned with we're, we're lit up we're passionate about it and then follow those actions and then that coach will encourage us when we're not following the actions. And when we're not having the results, we can shift and change the plan a little bit and just keep it, keep it rolling and keep it, keep it organic. But moving forward, taking those actions is key. Absolutely. And yeah. I think it's, like you mentioned, it's something that applies in all areas of life, whether it's your career, whether it's relationships, whether it's handling your finance, whether it's taking care of yourself physically, mm -hmm. uh, it's the same exact formula. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. Well, anybody watching this video, if, uh, if it encouraged any questions or thoughts, type them in and, and say hi and we'll chime in. You know, hey, John, what about this? Hey, Marcus, what about that? Whatever comes to mind, write it in, type it in, and uh, we'll be happy to respond. Um, hope it made a difference for one person in watching this video. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, have an amazing day. Anything you want to say, John? Get the plan in place, follow through and you'll be just fine. And if you need any help, I'm here to help. Marcus is here to help. And we're excited to get you through. Awesome. Awesome.